Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Sunday Night Facebook Live. I am so glad that you are able to join me here. Whether you're watching this live on Facebook or coming to me later on Facebook or later on YouTube, please make sure you click that share button. Sharing is caring, remember. Hi Mickey, welcome. Jenny, hi. I hope you all had a great weekend. I see Cindy is watching and Kelly. Make sure you leave a comment to let me know that you're watching. That gets you entered in a drawing for a free Stampin' Up! product. Hello everybody, Rhonda, Darlis, Elaine, Megan, welcome. Let me get myself set up here. I was gonna send you guys a little message saying that my phone was acting glitchy, but I didn't have to, so thank goodness for that. But um, I'm not able to enhance anything or turn my mirroring around. Every time I click that little wand with the star on it, it shuts my Facebook off. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful, right? Hmm. It is what it is. You know, Facebook Live is a challenge and um, I don't get too excited about it. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Okay, I am going to get myself going here. There we go. I'm all set up. Now hang on, because my cord just came unplugged. And I am going to get my phone plugged in. Hi, Dina from California. Lisa, Nanette, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Make sure you click on that share button. That really helps me out. Um, where's my first basket here? I had a great weekend. I actually went up to my mom's house on Tuesday evening and didn't come home until today. So that was really nice. And can I just say that I slept a lot, like a lot. I really got a lot of sleep. So um, that was awesome because I don't usually get a lot of sleep. You know, I'm super busy like everyone else. And that's just one of those things that I don't seem to need all the time. But when I'm at my mom's house, for some reason, I always am real tired. And my mom told me that she used to get like that when she would go to my to her mother-in-law's house. She would always sleep a lot. And um, my grandma said, it's because you feel comfortable here. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel comfortable there. So we did some deer hunting. And um, I did not get a deer. But I forgot to tell you guys last weekend that Haley got a really nice buck. And she watched my Facebook Live and she was a little disappointed. She said, Mom, you didn't even tell anybody that I got a nice buck. She did. She got what would have been like a nine pointer. And it had one horn that was kind of, um, it, it had been injured years ago. And horn, antler, for those of you who were giving me a hard time, they're antlers on deers. Whatever. A deer, not deers. Um, but one of the, one of the antlers was injured years ago, so it doesn't fall off every year like normal antlers do. So one side was a really nice big horn and the other side was this little thing with some spikes coming out of it. But anyways, she got a really nice buck. That's her second year in a row for getting a buck. And last year was her first year and, um, she's 24 years old and she's been hunting since she was like 10. So... She stuck with it a long time. And hi, Lisa Kashevsky. It's nice to see you. We were just talking about you today on our ride home. And I can't... Oh, we were talking about a recipe for macaroni and cheese. There you go. Were your ears ringing? <laughs> Um, yes, the Shelby said she saw a picture of Haley's buck and it was on... <laughs> hi, Steve. <laughs> From the living room. It was... Um, it was on my Facebook page. If you're friends with me on Facebook, it was on my Facebook page. I, I took some really nice pictures of her with her buck. So it was pretty exciting because she um, has been hunting many, many years and been successful very few times. So as have I. <laughs> but we're no quitters. We kind of stick with it. So anyways, she did um, get a really nice buck, and I just wanted to do that. I miss you too, Lisa, a lot. We need to get together for like a happy hour or something. I would really love that. Um, so um, what else? Oh, and then Haley hunted with a group of my mom's neighbors because 
All of our guys have stopped coming back up the second weekend, and so we don't have much of a crew left. So Haley got together with some of the neighbor um, people that hunt, and they got a really big buck that she got a shot at but didn't get. So that was really exciting, too. And me and my mom, we didn't get any deer. Oh, well, next year. There's always next year. We, um, we're not quitters, right? So um, I had... Let's see. I have one thing to show you. I can't find the card that I made last week, but I did um, want to show you this. And if you guys did not see Steve, hello all, I've missed my peeps. Yeah, Steve couldn't find me last weekend. I don't know what was going on with him. But um, this is a gift that I made for Haley for Christmas. I needed a gift idea for a blog hop that I was doing, and that's how a lot of these projects come about. But this is made with the um, Snowflake Showcase, the Snowfall um, Thinlets, and also the Timeless Tidings Greetings is what I used in here. So super, super beautiful gift, and I actually showed it to her online and said, do you want to see one of your Christmas presents? And she really liked it, so that was cool. Um, and I can't find the card that I made this last week. I didn't make a lot of things last week because, you know, I was gone and it was crazy, and um, I'm kind of ashamed of myself because I have to say that I'm pretty excited that um, hunting season is over. Don't tell Steve I said that, but I can't tell you how hard it has been being gone like almost every weekend since September. Like, I have been running my tail off. Well, it's still there, so don't worry about that. I've been eating plenty too, but um, I've been just running my butt off and it's been crazy. And so coming home today was like, oh, I can have my life back. <laughs> So things, I should get caught up here pretty soon. I did get a bunch of computer work caught up while I was at my mom's house. So anyways, I had a question from Debbie Gilbert and she wanted to know how I store my embossing folders. So I wanted to show her this. This is how I store my embossing folders. My folders are all right here. And this container <clears throat> is from the container store. Oh, what's that in there? Probably something I lost. Anyways, so I've got all my embossing folders right here. I've got all of my framelits right here. And this is a very nice, sturdy container. You can see that it has a, well, it just the thing just came out, but it has a handle on it that you can carry it with right there. And um, I really like this because this is all current product. Well, I shouldn't say that because I keep all of my holiday mini catalog stuff in a different cabinet. I keep that separate from annual catalog stuff. And the reason why I do that is because every time I open up that cabinet to grab something, I want to be reminded to be using that annual catalog stuff because it has a short shelf life for me, right? So this is where I keep my embossing folders and my thinlets. And then Debbie also asked, how do I store my stamp sets? I'm just gonna turn you a little bit here. You see that shelf right here? That shelf is all of my stamp sets, except for holiday mini catalog stuff. Those are in a different, um, a different cabinet. And so she also asked me, how do I keep track of everything? <laughs> Well, I don't know if I'm really the person to be asking that question of, but um, like I said, I just keep everything right here in this in this container. My holiday mini catalog, now I'll be moving, when at the end of December, I'll be moving everything out of this little cabinet thing that I have over here. And um, I will be moving in my occasions catalog and celebration items into that cabinet. And all my stamp sets are just over there. I do not keep them in alphabetical order or anything like that. That's just too crazy for me. Um, but I do this shelf right here. That shelf is all of my greeting stamp sets. So I do kind of keep those separate. Those are all my greeting sets and then the rest of them are just stamp sets. I do not keep, um, no, I didn't get a new tier. This is the same one. <laughs> um, I do not, um, keep retired product. 
I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my job to sell this product. So keeping retired product that you can't buy is not of any use to me. So just so you know that, I have a big um, used stamp sale at my house in June and I sell usually all of my retiring product because like I said, it's not of any use to me because I sell this product. So. There you have it. I hope that was helpful. I hope you get a chance to watch this, Debbie, if you're not on here live. But if you have any more questions, that was a great question. And feel free to ask me um, any other questions you have, too. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. I appreciate it. You guys, click on that share button. Also, click that like button that's under my video. That helps me out, too. I really appreciate that. Um, what else can I tell you? I have an online class going live on Tuesday. The Snowflake Showcase Bundle of Products, that is our November promotion, I'm going to be having an online class. And an online class is a private class, so nobody will ever see the, the cards or other products, projects that I've made um, on my blog, on Pinterest, any place. You won't ever see them. They're kept private, and they are. they each have a video that go with each project. There's a video tutorial that I have made. I know that there are, I believe, eight cards plus another project. And um, that'll be live on Tuesday on my blog. So www.stampabub.com is where my blog is. And you can check out all the details for that. I'm sure I will also, I also include some other um projects or cards made with that bundle of product too. So it's a great deal for 20 bucks. Or if you bought the bundle from me, which includes two stamp sets, um, the snowflake um, trinkets or embellishments, and something else. It's on my blog. But um, you'll get that class for free from me or you can buy it for $20. So and Sheila says she loves my June sale and she can't wait till next year. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm up against the Packers tonight. So, um, yeah, it, you know, I, I can't predict when the Packers are going to play. Well, I guess I could arrange my schedule around it, but I just don't think it's that important. I have DVR'd the game because my friend Jane... From Montana. Jane is another Stampin' Up! demonstrator. She messaged me earlier today. She's a huge Packer fan and said, Kelly, if you're doing your Facebook Live at 7 tonight, don't forget <coughs> to DVR the Packers. Hang on. <coughs> I had like a little dry spot in my throat that made my eyes water. <coughs> okay. Holy cow. I don't know what that was all about. Too much yakking. Um, anyways, let's see. So I've got an online class going live on Tuesday. The Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop is on Thursday, and that's where I show you alternate ideas with this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit and also a 3D item, whether it's a little treat holder or some type of a 3D box or something like that. Those are always fun. That's on Thursday. And on Friday, I have a blog hop with the Totally Techniques Global group, and we're doing polished stone. <coughs> Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Who's playing the Packers? I don't remember. But what I can tell you, I'll look right now. What I can tell the Vikings. Oh, I knew that. The Vikings, Minnesota, big rivalry. And Minnesota, whoops, Minnesota is doing pretty good this year, so I hope the Packers can pull off something good. Um, and while I'm talking about football, I know that's not why you're here, um, next Sunday I will not be live. My cousins are flying in from Arizona with, um, there's six people flying in. They've rented a party house in Green Bay by Lambeau Field, and my mom's whole side of the family are going to the Green Bay Packers game versus the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. So I will not be live. Now, the last time I wasn't live was when I was in Orlando for the onstage event. And um, I did record, I pre-recorded a Facebook Live, not live, I called it. 
and um, I might be able to do that again. But what did you guys think of that? I know it was kind of weird because I'm kind of talking to you and you can't talk back to me or type back or whatever. But was that, did you enjoy that? Should I do that again or should I just take the night off? So there's my little poll for the night. <laughs> um, okay. What else? Oh, I welcomed two new team members last week to my team. Um, I have Linda Morrison of Sun City, Arizona, and Wendy Sue Winter of Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And I know Wendy Sue is watching tonight. So I'd like to formally welcome them to my team. If you are interested in becoming a discount shopper with Stampin' Up, or if you... Um, would like to build a business, whichever way you want to go. I'd love to have you on my team. Our starter kit is $99. It includes $125 of product of your choice. So, um, oh, I love all the comments coming in. It was better than no Kelly at all. Well, bless your heart. Thank you so much. And yes, I, I do. I do, Mickey. I do. Although I was just away for like five days, but, um, Okay, so Lori says, loved your not-so-live show also. Okay, well, I'll see what I can come up with because I should have time this week. I've got two stamp clubs this week um, and some swaps that I need to get out, but I, I think I should be able to pull it together. Oh, and I have a card buffet on Saturday. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. Um, not really, but in the whole scheme of things. We're going wedding dress shopping on Saturday. <laughs> I know, right? Haley's getting married next year, August 3rd. So um, we're going to go wedding dress shopping and see what we can find next weekend. So that's kind of exciting too. Um, so anyways, back to, if you'd like to join my team, pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com. I'll send you a link where it's got all kinds of questions and answers and you'll find out all the details. I have a great team of demonstrators and I love them and it, it's it's so much fun. So, check that out if you're interested. Um, also, if you join my team, you'll be able to pre-order from the Occasions Mini Catalog and the Celebration Brochure on December 5th instead of waiting till January. So, that's really cool, too. And don't forget, I have orders going in every Thursday. If you're somebody who doesn't like to order online, you can always call me or email me and we can, I can do your order for you. So orders going in every Thursday, just know that. Don't forget to subscribe to my blog and my YouTube channel. My blog, I've, the address will be popping up here pretty soon, but my YouTube channel is just under my name, Kelly Atchison. And um, thank you for your support, for watching me, for commenting, for making this so much fun. Because let's face it, when I did that Facebook Live Not Live, it wasn't as fun because nobody's messages were coming in. And I was like, oh. So it's a little bit lackluster for me on this end. Um, anyways, it's not all about me, right? Okay. How many of you have signed up for my newsletter? Are you enjoying the 12 weeks of Christmas or holiday series that I have been providing? Everybody's getting that that signed up for it. I know that I've gotten some comments that people really are enjoying the projects that I've been sharing. So, oh, that scared me. Steve, what are you doing? Uh-oh, guest appearance. You can't, you can't turn that on. It's backwards. I know, because when I touch that little wand thing, well, if you're in here, say hello. Get over Hi. here. Get over here and say hello. Hi. <laughs> Boy, I really there miss is. you guys. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You scared me. That door, my door squeaks really loud when it opens, and I was like, oh, what are you doing? Um, anyways, he was going to turn that around back there, but he doesn't realize I have to change something on my screen and I can't do it. It's not working tonight. So, um, anyways, yeah, everybody's going to be, hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Um, where was I? Oh, the 12 weeks of holidays. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying those. Don't forget with the holidays coming up, I have gift certificates available in any denomination. So if you're a stamper and you've got friends and family saying, oh, what can I get you for Christmas? Here's here's Kelly's email address. You contact her. I want a gift certificate and I will take care of all the details. So I've had um, several people doing that in the last, 
in the last like probably about a week now it's going to start picking up a little bit more for gift certificates but that's a great way to get exactly what you want right you get to pick it out so don't forget about that now i want to do our um prizes which are ooh, right here oh first of all i wanted uh let's see Charlotte, if you are watching, I think I saw your name pop through here. Um, your prize from last week will be going out tomorrow with the prizes that I drew for tonight. I just wanted, I, I know that I kind of mentioned that I had already gone to the post office when you sent me your address, but I just want you to know that they will be on their way. I did not forget about them. Okay. Yeah, Dawn, I know. And there's a way for me to um, mirror my my recording and then you would be able to read that back there but um tonight when i tried to do that on when i was setting up to go live every time i hit the little wand it shuts facebook off so i'm not messing with it anymore okay prizes um for comments from last week we have and i know she's watching pat man you are a winner of the red rhinestones. I absolutely love these. And if you haven't used them that yet, I know you're going to love them too. So I will be sending those out. And that was for Pat's comments on the Facebook Live. And the next winner is Maria. Oh, and Pat Mann is from Bloomington, Illinois, by the way. Congratulations. The next winner is some of our chicken wire elements. And that goes to Maria Taylor of Thomasville, Georgia, and that is for sharing my Facebook Live. So congratulations, Maria. And Maria, you're going to need to contact me with your address because I do not have it. So if you could um, private message me your address, that would be awesome. And then also, I have... Um, for placing an order, I also do a drawing for everybody that places an order. And this is the prize. This is the Happiness Surrounds. It is part of the Snowflake Showcase promotion for November. Our winner is Doris Esplana from Copperas, Texas. Copris, Texas, maybe? Copris, Texas. And Doris won this for placing an order. So congratulations, Doris. I do have your address. And then I wanted to let you guys know that are winning, you're winning tonight. Um, I have some items that I'm just going to pop in with your prizes. And these are the Santa's Workshop Elements. Now, I've got two cards of them here where all the red dots are gone. And so I'm just going to put these in with each of these packages because I just thought you could enjoy them, but they're not your main prize. I'm just giving you a little extra thing. And I also have another packet. And again, we used all the red dots for a stamp camp and um, I would just like somebody to have these. So that's what I'm gonna do with them. Okay, I think it's time to start stamping. What do you guys think? All right, let me see what I'm gonna do first. Oh, I've got a really pretty card for you. Well, obviously, they're all pretty, right? And live video interrupted. I don't know what's going on. Um, I think that was Char that just said that. It's your internet. Oh, hang on. Oh, my Lord. Let me put my paper trimmer back together. <laughs> uh. Hang on just a second. Okay, I think it's good. I think it's fine. I think it's still going to work. Holy cow, that was totally not cool. Um, let me set this someplace else so I don't do that again. Sorry, you guys. That was loud, wasn't it? Urgh. Okay, I'm ready to flip the camera. Oh, and back to Char. Yeah, if you try refreshing, click on the name of my um, page again, a stamp above dash your creative coach. And... If you're getting interrupted, it's on your end. Your internet is weak. I had that happening last weekend when I was at my mom's house. Remember, I went live from there. And um, when I was practicing earlier in the day to see if it would work, I was getting that um, interrupted message myself. And it's because her internet service isn't that great. So, oh, Rhonda, be careful in that rolling chair. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. I've tipped him over, too, because I kind of sit on the edge of my chair, so I totally know what you're saying. All right, guys, I'm going to flip you over. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. 
cross your fingers that I don't touch something and turn this off. But if that happens, I will come back on. You just need to, again, refresh your screen and scroll down until you see Facebook Live 11 18 That's the date today. And then I'll be rolling again, okay? So flipping you over right now. Hang tight. And here we go. Don't open up your eyes yet because I'm still wiggling you around. Oh, boy, that went pretty good, actually. Okay, I think we're good. You guys can open up your eyes. I didn't lose anybody. Yay! And Debbie, it was Debbie. Refresh worked. Good. And yes, Carrie, thank you. My phone is plugged in. I really appreciate that reminder, too. All right, we are going to do something really fun with some wood texture paper. I think you guys are going to love this idea. This is a really quick and easy card. So, um, hang on, I need to make this bigger so I can see what's going on and see your comments. So I just want to let you guys know, when I um, put out the message earlier today that I would be live tonight, did you have any requests? The reason why I asked that is because I had absolutely no idea what we were making tonight. <laughs> I got home today at um, about noon and then I had to go about cleaning this disastrous office up because it's like I couldn't even function. It was such a nightmare. I just left it um, when I took off. And um, I cleaned that all up. I didn't get rolling on tonight's projects till about 3 o'clock. So, um, <laughs> anyways, when I asked that, does anybody have any requests? I'm serious. Like, I need ideas to make stuff. And what I got, there were, there were several requests. And I'm going to try to get to everybody's requests if I can. But one of the requests I had was for a sympathy card. And so, this is what I came up with. We are using Balmy Blue. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just gonna fold it in half and burnish it with my bone folder. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter, a piece of our Wood Textures Designer Series paper, and this is the white wash. I hope you can see this because this is beautiful paper. This is also four by five and a quarter. And then I've got some half inch strips. And um, I didn't mean to dump all of these out on the table because I kind of try to hide some things. And <laughs> I only need one of these, but just in case things don't go well, I've got two spares. <laughs> so that's what those are all about. I usually don't show you all the spares, <laughs> but let's just be real, right? Okay. I chose to use the Kindness and Compassion stamp set for my greeting on the front and the inside. This is a beautiful font um, greeting set that is all about um, kindness and condolences and sorry for your loss. There's a thank you, sympathy. I mean, these are just beautiful, beautiful greetings. And then... I pulled in the snow is glistening and this is part of the snowflake showcase promotion for November. This is one of the stamp sets and then the snowfall thinlet dies. These are just absolutely amazing and some of them aren't even in here because I've got them packed up for stamp clubs. We're going to be using this for our stamp clubs tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday night too. But um this is part of that November promotion. Now, once we hit uh, next Friday is the very last day that these will be available for sale. So can I just tell you that I have had an amazing time with these. I absolutely loved using both of them. There's another stamp set called Happiness Surrounds, which I just showed you, right? Where did that go? What did I do with the prize stuff? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Hang on. I'll show it to you again because Doris won this one. But the happiness surrounds and the snow is glistening and the snowfall thinlets and then there's some snowflake trinkets are all part of this promotion for November only. And um, just know that after Friday, you won't be able to order these anymore. And they are also while supplies last. So I can't guarantee that there will still be some left on Friday. But anyways, I use this stamp set and the um, this big snowflake from the Snowfall Thinlets. And let's do a little stamping here. 
I'm gonna bring in and show you, this is the Wood Textures 6x6 Designer Series paper. I've used this before, just in case we have somebody new here. This is amazing paper. It's also really fantastic for um, man cards. I'm using Balmy Blue and Basic Gray for our ink pads. If you came on late, don't forget to share. Hit that share button right now to share my video. That always helps me out. So I've got this half inch piece here and I'm just going to stamp a greeting for the front. Now let's see if I can get this straight. Oh, that's pretty darn good, isn't it? Sometimes I really impress myself. All right, we've got that. Then we're gonna do, oh, let's flag the end on this right away. I'm just gonna cut that off and then do a little banner end, just like that. And then, let me see if I have some regular size dimensionals, I do. I'm gonna take a dimensional here and a dimension, did you see how I flung that? Yeah, I need to stop doing that because it's kind of rude. Um, and here comes our inside greeting. And again, this is from the Kindness and Compassion. I'm using basic gray ink. Oh, that turned out great. And now I'm going to come in with some snowflakes from the Snow is Glistening stamp set. That was basic gray and then balmy blue. And I'm gonna do some of these right here. And isn't that just pretty? It's just a really nice little addition to the inside of your card. By the way, all of these projects, as soon as I get done with this Facebook Live, I will be putting all of these projects on my blog tonight. I've decided to start doing that right away. And I don't have anything done yet. I don't have any photography done, so it could take me a little while to get those on there. But you will find links to all the products I'm using and a complete list of the products that I'm using in case you want to order anything. But I just want to let you know that I'm going to start doing that on Monday. And then um, I used to do a project sheet. Project Sheet Monday was my theme on my blog, but I think I will start... Um, doing that on Tuesdays. So just so you know what's going on with me. Now, this is that whitewashed wood grain cardstock or designer series paper, and I'm just going to stamp right on it. This is basic gray, and I'm stamping the snowflake. And isn't that interesting? I always love to stamp on designer series paper. When the pattern isn't really crazy and busy, that's the best time to bring this out and do this because it's a really cool look. Oh, I'm missing if anybody's asking questions. Um, if you asked a question and I didn't answer you, please ask it again. I forget, I'm stamping, you know? <laughs> I'm stamping and I forget to look at the questions, I'm sorry. It's hard to do all these things at once. Okay, super simple, right? Now. I, um, another thing you'll need is a scrap of the balmy blue because I already die cut this snowflake from the Snowfall Thinlets. And the Snowfall Thinlets is, you know, it's great for so much more than just Christmas. That's, I've been using it for all kinds of stuff. You can do get well, you can do birthday, I'm doing a, you know, a sympathy card. It's just good for a lot of things. I'm gonna bring this right in here. And remember when I said this was a really simple card? I wasn't kidding. Get yourself a pack of wood textures and the snowflake bundle of products. Look at how easy that was. Okay, Pat says, a request for your tip videos, if you could go over re-inking the new pads. Pat, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that talks about Reinking pads and if you pop me an email or you can just go to my channel and um, Click on videos and it'll show you all the videos I have you might be able to find that if you can't find it Pop me an email at Kelly at a stamp above.com and let me know and I will find it for you Okay, isn't that nice? Super easy super simple card and you know what I forgot to do 
Um, I forgot to, let's get some envelopes out here because I want this ready to roll at a moment's notice, right? Because when you need a sympathy card, you need a sympathy card. You don't usually get a lot of time or notice on that. And I'm just gonna stamp up my envelope so that it looks super cool and it's ready to roll with this card. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What do you guys think? Yeah, okay. Okay, Cindy's asking if there'll be a special in December. I'm hoping so, but I don't know. Sometimes we get advance notice on specials and sometimes we do not, Cindy. I am not aware of anything right now, but I can tell you in previous years, Stampin' Up! has done specials in December. So, you know, I'm hoping there's some type of a special. But um, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, hang tight, you guys. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. I thought it was really pretty, and I have to tell you that I whipped this card up in about 10 minutes, and it was right when my husband hollered, supper's ready, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get this one more card done. So I whipped this up really quick and then went in and ate, and he made chicken broccoli stir fry stuff over rice and it had broccoli and chicken and cashews and he said he put a little bit too much lemon in it and he kind of did but it was still good and uh, mushrooms he added those because we love mushrooms so yeah I whipped this up when he yelled supper's ready I'm like I gotta get this done and I whipped it up and then I went and ate so <laughs> super super simple and you could do this for a thank you card a birthday card this would be perfect for just about anything all right, let me keep moving along here. Next, I am going to, another request for tonight was a get well card. So, of course, I made a get well card. Right, Kathy. Kathy said she never thought of the snowflakes on a sympathy card. But exactly, if you are if you need a sympathy card in winter, you know, like if you need a sympathy card in fall, we wouldn't hesitate to use leaves. Why not snowflakes in winter? <laughs> Karen's asking if my husband has a twin brother. He does not. <laughs> he does have a couple different brothers, but they're all married. Sorry. <laughs> He'll get a kick out of that. He's probably not watching anymore. But I'll make sure to tell him that one because he'll like that. That's a that's good for his ego, right? Yeah, he's become a really good cook. And it's funny because we've been married for like, I don't know, 26 years, something like that. Mm. Let's see. Carrie's asking about the price for the bundle. Hang on. I have the um, sale stuff right here. So here we go, Carrie. The Snow is Glistening stamp set. And again, this is, um, I think, is it Photopolymer? Yeah, I think. Let me look. What kind of rubber? Yep, yeah, it's Photopolymer, which is my favorite rubber. Snow is Glistening is $21, and you get 14 stamps. There's a whole bunch of projects on my blog, too, by the way, using this stamp set. And then Happiness Surrounds, you get 14 stamps for $17. It is also Photopolymer. And there's a bunch of projects on my blog with that. Then we have these snowflake trinkets for $8. The snowfall thinlet dies, there are 20 different dies included with this for $39. And we did have some velvet white sheets, but they're, they're gone. We sold out of them. They were so popular. But thanks for asking that. That's a really good question. Can I go over how to use the... My woodland folder broke on Friday when I was making Christmas cards. Oh, yeah, and that's from Karen. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit. So when um, embossing folders in the Big Shot for, first came out for us as Stamping Up demonstrators, um, there were a lot of things that we learned. And one of the things, Karen, is that when you're putting your card stock in and you close it, you want that um, hinge edge, okay, the hinge, to always go through your machine first. You don't want it to go through this way and you don't want it to go through this way. You want that hinge to go through first. That's gonna put quick even pressure on the hinge versus 
pressure, 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 pressure as it's pushing it along and kind of wearing on that hinge edge. Also, you don't want this to get a little, a little, you know, push like this and then be pushing that hinge other, either. So you want that hinge to go through first so it gets good, even pressure. And that's about all there is to it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all there is. Make sure you keep them inside your machine so they don't get mangled, okay? But um, even mangled, they, it doesn't hurt anything. They still work just fine. So that's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. All right, I have a fun fold for you guys because that was another request. We, you guys wanted fun folds, you wanted sympathy, and you wanted get well. And so this is a fun fold get well card. And I think you're going to love it. There's a lot of layers to this card. And I will have all the dimensions after the Facebook Live is over. So I just want you to know that. It's going to take me a bit to type this up because, well, I'm just running kind of behind today. So I'll, I'll give you the dimensions here. This is a piece of basic gray, and it is eight and a half by five and a half. And then I scored it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And again, you don't have to write these down, but in case you want to, I'm going to give them to you. Then I've got a piece of um, Blackberry Bliss. And the Blackberry Bliss is eight and an eighth by four and a half, and it's scored at four and six and an eighth. Then we've got some basic gray layers, and these are just mats under the images that we're gonna be stamping on. So we've got three and five eighths by four and a quarter, basic gray, and then we've got two smaller pieces. One is one and seven eighths by four and a quarter, and one and three quarters by four and a quarter. I know this is lots of measurements. You're, you're gonna love the card, so just hang tight with me. Then we've got the white layer we're gonna stamp on. This is three and a half by four and an eighth. And then two white pieces. Um, the bigger, no, the bigger one is one and three, no, 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 hang on. One and three quarters, yeah. One and three quarters by four and an eighth. And then the smaller one is one and five eighths by four and an eighth. And I've run it through the woodland embossing folder. So the smallest white piece gets run through the folder. <coughs> Hang on. Okay, Charlene just said what? Explain. Okay, but we're not talking about blocking paper right now, you guys. Hang with me. Okay. Um... Then I've got designer series paper. This is one inch wide by one and seven eighths. No, 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 sorry. Let's start over. We've got four pieces that are one by one and seven eighths. So this is just one inch strips of designer paper, one and seven eighths, four of them. This is a fabulous way to um, use up your scraps of designer series paper. You know, you've got all those one inch strips or three quarter inch strips that you never really do anything with, but you put them back into your package, right? <laughs> I know, I do the same thing. Um, so yeah, you need four of these pieces. And then we've got two pieces that are one by three and seven eighths. Okay, again, if you're gonna make this card, I would simply go down the list once I tip it up and cut all your pieces out and then go about assembling a card. We're gonna do a tiny bit of stamping here. We've got these two white pieces, and I'm gonna just make sure. We're using the Winter Woods stamp set with those fun trees that I absolutely love. Yeah, and Green Bay got a touchdown, yay! <laughs> what are you guys drinking tonight? What do you got in there? I'm drinking Pepsi. But today I was out of Pepsi and I just went and bought a two liter bottle because tomorrow I'm giving up Pepsi again. I know, right? Because I kind of gained back some of the weight that I lost. And I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to give her another run. I'm going to have to start exercising again, which I hate. Does anybody else just hate exercise? Ugh. It's horrible. Okay, lemonade, peach water, water. You can do it, Kelly. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew. You know, water, I feel like water just 
sucks the happy out of my life. I just so don't like water. <laughs> Bless your heart for drinking water, though, because it's good for you, right? And I wish I liked it. Okay, Blackberry Bliss ink. And now I'm going to come in and put the little ground stamp under my trees. And I don't know, that just kind of finishes it off for me. And then we've got basic gray again here with that Blackberry Bliss. And I'm using the Greetings from the Healing Hugs. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. Um, if you guys follow me on my blog, you've seen me make several cards with this, but I love that distinctive design that are on these two images. And then the fonts and the words in here, sending you healing vibes. So this is my Get Well card. Hot chocolate and Bailey's, good for you. <laughs> and Iris says, exercise is only great when it's over. Yeah, amen, sister. I agree with you. <laughs> okay, here comes my greeting. Oh, I got it straight too. Yay! It's always a bonus. And then I'm going to bring in that Get Well, and I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to stamp that right over here, and I'm going to hope it's straight. It's pretty darn good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let me move my stamps out of the way. Oh, you know what? Before we go any further, I'm going to bring in an envelope and get that stamped right away too, right? Because why wouldn't you, as long as you've got all your supplies out, make that envelope amazing just like your card. Now, isn't that the coolest thing? This Winter Wood stamp set is probably right at the top of my favorites out of the holiday mini catalog. I love it. And Beth says that the soda really does make the difference. Well, here's what I found, Beth. Um, that soda that I lived on for all my life, I lived on Pepsi, full strength. I don't like diet sodas. I hate the taste of them. I lived on it all my life. And then I quit drinking it because I thought I needed to. And then once I went back to it, that's when I started gaining the weight. So it's like I shut down my metabolism when I did that. My body like freaked out or something. And then now it can't handle it. So that makes me angry. <laughs> as angry as angry can be, I guess. So yeah, I know the soda. And so I thought when I quit drinking soda that I was going to just lose a ton of weight, which I should have because I'm serious, you guys. I was drinking more soda in a day in calories than people should even eat. And that did not happen to me. I did not lose a ton of weight when I quit drinking soda. And I didn't eat any more than I normally ate. So it just didn't make sense. But I think I really screwed up my metabolism. Okay, so we're going to put this white layer. Yeah, Michelle. You Okay, so you quit cold turkey and after two days of headaches. I know, I will get a headache this week. Um, because I've done that too. When you get a caffeine um, withdrawal headache, right? And then we've got these two pieces of gray. So we put this on one gray. This one goes on the next gray. And I'm just going to glue this right on here. So all these different panels, while they sound complicated when I'm reading off all the dimensions, they're really not. But you guys, layers is what makes your cards more spectacular. If you have just a plain little card and you just add a layer to it before you put it on your card base, it really pops it up. And that's one thing that people don't think about, but it's the one thing you can do that will really take your cards to another level. Okay, before I go too much further, this Get Well Soon, I decided that I wanted just a little embellishment on this layer. So I'm going to take some of our polka dot tool ribbon and I'm going to just <clears throat> here comes that throat thing again yeah Beth said she lost when she quit do and gained when she started again well it never made me gain weight before but when I quit drinking it and then went back to it yeah it was like my body didn't know how to handle it anymore plus plus I turned 50 and everybody says oh yeah when you get older you get fat and well that's certainly been my experience. <laughs> I don't think I like it too much either. Never really had much problem with weight um, before. And it doesn't help that, you know, I go to all these stamping things and people bring wonderful treats and I, I can't not eat them. That's rude. <laughs> that's my excuse, right? Well, that's certainly rude if you don't eat the treats. 
Yeah, I eat too many of them though. Like I don't have just one bar, I have two. I cut the first bar in half, so I eat half a bar, and then I go back for the other half, and then I have another whole one. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm not helping my case at all. I know what I'm doing wrong. I just don't like it. Okay, so all I did was put a piece of ribbon over there and tape it on the back and then tie a little piece here. And it's just gonna be a cute little embellishment. Now, we're gonna take this gray piece and this is the piece that we scored at, um, whoops, from the side, two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And we are going to fold this in half because this is your card base. Find my bone folder here. And then we're gonna fold this piece back. And you may think, oh, I know what she's making. Nope, you don't, not yet. Because this is a typical fun fold, but we're doing some fancy stuff here. <laughs> we're gonna do some fancier things than just this. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna fold that. And this is the Blackberry Bliss that was eight and an eighth by four and a half. It scored at four and six and an eighth. And we're gonna fold this like this. Okay, so basically we did the same to this piece. We, we folded it in half and then folded this back. We folded it in half and folded this back. I'll be a little slower there so you can see what I did, okay? So now, we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it this way and that's how we're gonna put our card together but not before we put on all these little pieces of designer series paper. And like I said, this card looks complicated but it really isn't. And I had a sample that I'll show you when I'm done making this so you can see where I got my idea from. But um, when my one of my team members, Dee Dee, and her sister came over last week after we went out to lunch, she was in town from Arizona, if you remember. I told you about that. After she came over, um, she saw this swap card that I had and she wanted to know how to make it. And so I thought, well, that would be a fun card to show everybody how to make for Facebook Live. So thank you, Dee Dee. You helped me make some decisions about what I was gonna do tonight without even knowing you were doing it. I love it when that happens. And Rhonda says she's a baker. I don't eat them, I've gotten immune to them. Yeah, I used to be a baker too, but nobody eats it anymore. And so I don't need to make a pan of bars because I'll eat the whole thing. Like that's what I'll do. Um, a triple F card? <laughs> Fancy fun fold. Denise, I like that. This is a fancy fun fold. A triple F card. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we're just gluing all these little pieces down. And by the way, I am using the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. And I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but it's got a pearlized coating on it that is just so pretty. Where's my paper? We're gonna use it on another card um, or another project too. Look at, isn't that just amazingly beautiful? Mm, I love this paper. This is still available, you guys. It's in the holiday mini catalog and it's still available. So if you need to get your hands on some, you should. It's really cool. All right, now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna add all of these layers. And you guys saw how quick and easy, once you have these layers cut out and scored, this is, a, this is not a hard card. It's pretty simple. Here's the first one. Here comes the second one. And then I've got this one that has um, the trees on it. This is the... Um, woodland embossing folder on there and it's just kind of an interest you know it's like so I needed something else on this panel I'm like what am I going to stamp on this panel I don't really want to stamp more words because I got words twice and whatever and it's like well just emboss it like the sample was all right now we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it on this piece and this is how we're going to do it you're going to put some adhesive right here like this. I've got this all held together, okay? I've got it held together. I'm gonna match this up so that it's centered top to bottom and it matches up with the designer series paper edge right over here, okay? So we're just gonna do this and let it sit for just a tiny bit. Thank you, Nancy Taylor. I'm glad to see you on here. Hi, Kay. Thanks, Sherry. 
Now we've got that done. Now we need to put some glue on the back of this one. So we're going to add some glue here. And now we're going to simply close our card. And I'll just kind of hang on to this. Isn't that spectacular? And again, you think that you're using all these big panels of designer series paper to cover these whole panels, but we've just got the one inch strips in there. Great way to use up those little pieces, right? I thought that was genius and I didn't come up with the idea, but I know how to copy stuff. <laughs> it's always good to copy. Here's our matching envelope. Gorgeous, fancy, fun fold, just like Denise said. Fancy, fun fold, woohoo. Okay. There we go. Oh, and I said I would show you the card that Dee Dee fell in love with. Look at this. Here's that, um, what is that whole bundle called that's in the holiday mini catalog with the truck? This is lovely as a tree, but here's that truck with the Christmas tree in the back. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And the designer series paper that goes with that whole bundle too. So this is where I got the idea from. And I just sat down and measured everything and made one of my own. Yay! Okay, hang on now. I gotta set this aside so I can bring it all back at the end. If you joined me late, hi Mary Lynn Weller from Washington. Glad to see you here. If you join me late, don't forget to click on that share button and share my video. That'll get you an extra entry into a prize drawing. Okay, we're gonna put all this away because the next request that I had, and I think Mickey Farley, if you're on, oh, hang on, hang on, back it up. I forgot to do something, and this is important. Completely forgot. Did you guys see the shimmer paint sitting over here? Hello, Kelly. Let's bring this back in because I'm going to make this super, super cool. Now, this is the champagne mist, it's called, and I just take the bottle and shake it. And that'll put some um, shimmer paint in the lid. I've got just a tiny little wedge of a sponge here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to add shimmer paint just to my treetops. Now, the one thing I found out is if you do this right away after you stamp them, it'll kind of make your um, ink bleed just a tiny bit, which is kind of cool looking. Oh, and this is bleeding just a tiny bit too. So I think that's a neat look. I hope you guys can see, can you see the, can you see the shimmer paint in there? Get just a little bit more up there. There we go. Gorgeous. Yeah, that really makes this card spectacular. Okay, glad I didn't forget that. Don't forget your champagne shimmer paint, right? Okay, now we can move on. And... Oh, let me put all this away. I've got the envelope punch board and I'm only bringing this in because I use the corner rounder. I really like the corner rounder. I use this for a whole bunch of different things, but the corner rounder is one of my favorite tools on here. And then Mickey Farley asked me if I would show you guys how to make the covered notebook that I got in a swap at OnStage. And I said, absolutely today. <laughs> I thought that was a great idea. So that's what I'm going to show you. And what is this? Oh, dimensionals. Well, that's interesting. Okay, here we go. I've got all my layers. Then I've got a couple different samples to show you once I show you how to make it. Oh, and did I cut? I don't think I cut a piece. I don't think I cut it. Hang on, I gotta cut one more little piece of cardstock here. And this was this color right here. And I need this to be Three quarters, three and a quarter. Okay, hang tight, I forgot to cut a piece. Three quarters. By three and a quarter. I might have had it in there, but I don't remember. Anyways, if I did, it'll be okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a covered notepad. Oh, you guys, you know what? Darn it, 
I forgot. Can you guys take a little break? This is a good time to go to the bathroom or take a drink or refill your drink. I have to run downstairs and grab a notepad for this project. I'll be right back. about that I completely forgot about this oh thanks for sticking with me okay <laughs> um here comes the layers now again we've got several different things going on here but this is really easy once you get everything cut out and ready to roll so I have a piece of tranquil tide oh I'm out of breath and oh let me put this away hang on Tranquil Tide is um, 11 inches long by eight, and I've scored it at five and a quarter and five and three quarters. So this is going to be the outside cover of our notepad project. So we've got one score line there, and then the other score line here is gonna be like kind of like the binding, right, on a book. So it goes like this, okay? Then I've got a piece of the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper, and this is five by seven and three quarters. I've got a piece of Tranquil Tide. This is the pocket for the inside, and that is six and a half by four and three quarters. And then I scored it on three sides at a half an inch and three quarters of an inch. So half three quarter, half three quarter, half three quarter. Another piece of the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. This is four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Another piece that is two inches by five and it's scored at one and one and a quarter. This little tiny piece is for the clasp that's gonna close our pretty notebook. And both of these pieces, this is Tranquil Tide and this is the Designer Series paper. Both of these are one and a half by three and I've scored them at one and a half and two. Okay, don't worry, all these dimensions will be on my blog. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our clasp and we're gonna fold on those score lines on both of these pieces. These make fabulous gifts for the holidays, you guys. We're gonna glue these together. And when I'm gluing something that has score lines on it, I like to kind of fold it as I'm doing it. Cause have you ever, I don't know what they call that, but have you ever glued something together flat and then went to fold it and it got all stupid? <laughs> for lack of a better term. <laughs> yeah, I hate it when that happens. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm gonna bring in my corner rounder and there's a smaller piece and a bigger piece here. You want the bigger piece is the one that you're gonna round the corners on. There we go. And this is just gonna make it, whoops, I don't think that was in there all the way. Make it look a little more finished. Okay, so that's our clasp. So we've got that done. That's all I needed that for. Put that away. Okay, now we're gonna bring all this stuff in. Let's bring in our little junior legal pad. And this is the designer series paper piece that is um, five by two. Scored at one and one and a quarter. So we've got this. And then we've got this. And you're going to put this on here. Oops. I can get it open. Just like this. Okay? Isn't that pretty? It just looks pretty, doesn't it? And I think I'll use tear and tape here because I just think it'll work really good for this. 
I'm going to put it right along the edge of my pad and pop that off. And I want to make sure that I have this pushed down all the way. There we go. And I think I'll use a little bit more on the back here of the tear and tape. And I'll put that right on my designer series paper. There we go. So our notepad is ready. Then we have, this is our pocket. And hang on, let me find, so I'm throwing things here, my scissors. You're gonna cut off the whole corner. So all the little score lines, just cut the corner right off where the score lines intersect or cross over, or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, now we've got two score lines on each, each of the three sides here, and you're just going to fold them and burnish them good. This is gonna make a pocket for inside your notebook. Oh, and Karen said she's always wanted to learn how to do this. Well, good deal. Then you tuned in on the right night. Let's see what's going on with my score line. Something's kind of stupid here. Um, oh, there, now it looks okay. I don't know what happened there. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? We had a we had a good Thanksgiving. It was just me, my mom, and Haley. <laughs> and we ate and ate and ate. Yeah. Um Beth, you can get these notepads any place. Home Depot or Office Depot, Staples, anywhere. They're just junior legal pads. That's all they are. Okay, so good question though. All right, now I have formed a pocket. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some tear tape and I'm going to add it to this edge that's folded over. Okay, so here's our little pocket and I'm adding it right here. And I'm gonna do that to all three sides. Just like this. And then the bottom. Well, it's 14 to 7 on the Packer game. Packers are winning, so that's kind of a miracle, I think. Because, like I said, the Vikings are pretty good this year. And the Packers, they haven't been showing a lot of promise. <laughs> I hope they do good next week. And I hope they beat the Cardinals. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's bring this back. So here's our pocket piece. I'm going to take this, to, now you can decorate these up any way you want. You can get pretty elaborate with them. I kept mine pretty simple and just let my designer series paper do the talking, if you will, because it is beautiful and you don't need to do a lot to something when you have paper this gorgeous, right? Now I'm gonna bring this piece in, okay. This is where the magnets come in. So I got these tiny little magnets. And I have to tell you guys, I know you're going to ask me where they came from. And <laughs> Jenny Miller, boo, let's go Vikings. Watch it, Jenny. <laughs> okay, I got Kathy String saying the same thing. So um, this little pack of magnets, you can get these on Amazon. You can order them any place, but they're just tiny magnets. And they're super, super strong. I'm talking like I can barely get them apart. Um, you're going to ask me where I got them. I, I believe I ordered them from Amazon, but it was several years ago, you guys. Like, um, I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. It was several years ago, and they work great. So just go on there and look for, I don't know what you'd even call Does anybody know what they're called? They're called, like, like um, super mini magnets or something like that. They're really strong. <laughs> Elaine, friendly rivalry ladies. Perhaps. <laughs> now I'm gonna, I just took a mini glue dot and put it right here and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. And here's where the, the it, it's not really tricky, but this is where you have to kind of pay attention to what's going on. So I'm gonna bring in my clasp and see just how far does that go in. And I'm gonna say that this magnet should be about right there. 
Okay, I just made a decision and stuck it down. Oh shoot, I did this last time too. Don't glue this together until you get that magnet in there, you guys. Lucky for me, I <laughs> that um, pearlized, the pearlized um, coating allows you to pull this apart. It's strong, like it would have held together. It wouldn't have come apart, but um, because I needed to pull it apart, I could. And I did this when I was making my sample too. So I gotta see which way this needs to go. So you have to pay attention to which way your magnet needs to go into there so that it'll stick to the other magnet. Does that make sense? You have to have it going the right way. So I'm gonna just put my magnet in here, just like that. And now I'm going to glue this again. Glad that came apart nicely, right? Now, it's going to leave a little bump in there. But don't worry about that because we're going to cover that little bump up. So no need to fret over it. It'll be fine. Now, I'm going to take this. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put it in place. And then I'm going to glue this piece in here. So let me keep this open so you can see what I'm doing here. This is the only part you have to really kind of pay attention to. Don't forget to put the magnets in there. Otherwise, if you don't have magnets or you don't want to deal with magnets, you can also use Velcro. That'll work fine. I just think the magnets are just kind of cool because it's, I don't know, it's kind of like magic, right? I'm going to pop that off. Whoops. I'm going to pop that off. And make sure this is stuck down and that it's straight now. Okay. Here comes our notebook. And again, I'm going to use tear and tape because that's a super strong adhesive. I don't know that glue would really work here. Your tape runners, I definitely wouldn't trust them to hold this together. You need something a little crazier like tear and tape. Okay, here we go. Did I have any questions I missed? Oh, now it's a tie. Nice. <laughs> Darn it. I know, I told you, the Packers just seem to kind of fall apart. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and tight. I shouldn't say nice and tight, but that it's close up to that binding. Okay, so I've got that in there good. Look at that. So far, so good, right? Yeah. And then we're going to put that pocket in. Here's our pocket. Oh, before we do that, we have some more things to do. So just hang tight here. Do I have... Oh, I don't have a piece. Let me get another piece. I wonder if this one will work. That'll work just fine. I'll use this. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is just a scrap. Okay, so I need a two and a quarter by a three. I thought I had that cut, but I guess I don't. Two and a quarter by, oh, that's not right. Hang on, hang on, I'm a little confused. Um, two and a quarter by three, okay. So two and a half by three and a quarter. Okay, so this is two and a half by three and a quarter, and I'm just going to put this right here in the middle of our pocket, just like that. And then I have these sweet little calendars. So I ordered these and I know you guys wanna know where I ordered it from. Oh wait, now Cindy just said, what about putting a small, what about putting a small band of card stock that you could slip the card board on the back of the notepad under the Band so you can replace them. Oh, well, that's a great idea. I also think that you can actually take this out pretty easily and replace it, but you could certainly put a band in there if you wanted to. So my calendars are coming. That's a great idea, Cindy. Thank you. Um, my calendars are coming from www.corporatepublishingcompany.com and company is spelled out. So www corporatepublishingcompany.com. These are two and a quarter by three inches. That's where I got these. Okay, I'm just gonna take some glue 
and add my calendar right here. So I just wanted a little layer under my calendar. That's what I was doing here. Let's see if I can get this on here straight, Kelly. That would be good. Okay, so it just kind of makes it a little fancier, right? Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna take off all this tear tape, tear and tape. I always call it tear tape, but it's actually tear and tape. And we're gonna put our pocket in here. Then I still have one more thing to do before we're done and then I'll show you the other samples. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm gonna square, I'm gonna square up my corners. Okay, that's helpful because I made sure that I had enough tear and tape to be able to do this part. Does that make sense to you? I'm squaring up those corners and now I'm going to place this right down here. I'll make sure you're keeping that squared up and then put your bone folder in there and press down so that tear tape sticks to the layer and I'll do that on the inside too. So now you, what you've got here is a nice little pocket. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. Hang on, somebody just private messaged me and it covered everything up. Okay, so here's the inside. Now let's get this outside done. Uh-oh, that's not closing, what's happening? Oh, you know what? I bet you this needed to be over a little further, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, I needed this to be over that way a little further. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but it's not closing. Oh, now it is. It was just stiff. It's, it's closing fine. Sorry about that. Okay, that scared me a little bit. All right, so we've got the inside done. Let's get the front done. <laughs> like, what's happening? You want to make sure that your glue is going to stick over that magnet that's going to leave a little bump here. Isn't this pretty? Kathy, thank you. The calendar is a nice finishing touch, isn't it? Hi, Arliss. Hi, Ruth Miller. Glad you came in. Okay. There it is. Now, I wanted something to kind of cover up. My thing isn't sticking very good here. You make, make sure you get enough glue in here to stick over that lump. There we go. I just added some more glue in there to stick over that magnet lump, okay? But I decided that I wanted to do something fancy to that. So here's what I came up with. I took the um, first frost. Now this paper is part of the first frost suite. I took the first frost bundle and I stamped the big flower. Now I'm gonna ink this up in Tranquil Tide and then we're gonna do a technique called rock and roll. So I'm going to ink this up in Tranquil Tide and now I'm gonna bring in my navy, Knight of Navy, and I'm going to just roll around the outside edges. And do you see what I did? Don't look at the block, that's a mess, but just the outside edges of that flower. Then I'm gonna stamp it on a scrap. Ooh, look at that. I wanted something kind of navy, kind of blue and the Tranquil Tide green in there. So once I did that, I took out the framelit that comes with this and I die cut it and this is what I got. Let me put that away so I don't lose it. And then I put a couple dimensionals on the back. And I'm just gonna add this flower to that clasp. <coughs> now, I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't do this ahead of time. I don't think I do like it. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's a cool way to stamp the flower but I don't know if I really like it on the notebook. So if you want to, you can pop that beast off before your dimensionals get really <laughs> stuck on there. Is there someplace else I could put it? Hmm. I could put it right there. 
<laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I just thought I wanted something on here. Now, before we're finished, I've got one more thing to show you. These RSVP pens have a clear barrel on them. And if you would like to make a matching pen to go with your notebook gift, this is what you need to do. You're going to take, um, this is Pentel, P-E-N-T-E-L, R-S-V-P, they're called. And you're going to unscrew the um, ink, whatever you call this thing. And now you're going to take and wrap a piece of cardstock. And this piece is three quarters wide by three and a quarter long. And you're just going to wrap it around the ink barrel. Okay, just like that. And then you're gonna pop it back in here. And sometimes you might need to use your pokey tool to push it down in there. Get it down in there all the way. Look at that. Now you have a matching pen to go with your notebook. And what a great gift. This is a great place to put coupons or I don't know, little notes, but you've got a calendar here a notepad, you could decorate this up. You could do so many things. You could add designer paper to the back. Use up that designer paper because you know what happens? When you keep hoarding the designer paper, pretty soon you're saying to yourself, I can't buy any more paper and who wants to live like that? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> oh, you know what, Gilmore, that's a good idea. Maybe a different color so that it's not so um, blended into the rest of the cover. I think you're right. Thanks, Kelly. So here's another one that I made. And here is a matching RSVP pen. I used the same designer series paper, just a different pattern. And on this one, I put a little, one of the leaves from the leaf trinkets. And I used the magnets again. And look how stunning that Night of Navy is with this designer series paper. Everything is the same about this one as the one that we just made. And then the one that Mickey saw that I received from convention uses the Share What You Love designer series paper. And this was, this is a good place to put a business card. It's got some um, little sticky note flag things and our Share What You Love. This is the Stampin' Up's um, Statement of the Heart. So there you go, this was done on Old Olive. And again with the magnet. So that's where I got the idea for this. And thank you, Mickey, for asking for it because I think that these turned out really good. I'm going to find something to do here. I just don't know what yet, you guys. So let me get this out of the way. We've got this fancy fun fold. I like that a lot, Denise. That was a great thing to call it. Fancy fun fold with our matching envelope. We've got our two notebooks here and our matching pens. And then we've got this beautiful sympathy card using the um, Snowflake Showcase that's only available during the month of November. All right, did I miss any questions, you guys? I, I hope that I kind of caught them all. I know you guys are really great at helping answer the questions when I'm not catching them. So I really appreciate that. I'm going to get everything typed up and put on my blog. I'll post that as soon as it's available or as soon as I've got it done tonight so that you'll have all your dimensions and stuff um, ready to roll. I'll probably put it on this Facebook Live video too. So um, I'll edit the top where it says Facebook Live 11.25.18, I will put all the information in there for the dimensions on all of the stuff. And then I'll throw it on my blog also with photographs and um, links to order the products if you want to place an order with me. Don't forget to share my video. Sharing is caring. I really do appreciate it, whether you're watching it on Facebook or on YouTube. I thank you for doing that. Don't forget to leave a comment if you came on late. That's how you get entered in the prize drawings. You also get an entry for sharing and an entry for placing an order with me. Oh, and before I forget, for those of you 
that um, placed a $35 or more order while I was in Orlando. I promised you a template for this gift card box. And I just want to let you guys know that most of those went out last week. I got them out while I was at my mom's house. But um, I ran out of the white pieces that belong in here. So I will be working on those tomorrow and get the rest of them out in the mail to you. Thank you for those orders while I was gone. And um, I hope you enjoy the little kit that I'm sending you in the mail. All right, you guys. Thank you, Kathy, and you are very welcome. I'm so glad that you tuned in. I just am in awe that so many people want to watch me on Sunday night. It makes me feel really blessed. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will not be live next Sunday, but I may do a Facebook Live not live and um, have, it, have it pop up at 7 o'clock next Sunday. We'll see how my week goes. I'm hoping I can get that accomplished. You guys have yourself a great week. Bye-bye.